Hi guys, welcome back to Mummy Cooks Homemade. My name's Hayley, for anyone that doesn't know. This is another gusto meal. This is a sticky black pepper steak with pak choy. And this is a 10 minute meal. There you go. And that's the only things that go into it. It's very simple. So I'm gonna pop some olive oil in and I'm gonna cook the steaks first. Please excuse any background noise. Um, the community I was going to say, yeah, I was going to say Uva, but lawnmower is out just trimming the uh, the grass areas. So these are just thin steaks. We have hammered them down a little bit to cook them quicker. So all we've done is put black pepper and salt on. Then we're just going to fry these. This is only a 10 minute meal, guys. It's so, so quick. <laughs> Oh dear. These are rump steaks, small rump steaks, by the way. And we cook them for two minutes on each side. So for this, you're gonna need pak choy. I used three of them. 15 ml of tamari soy sauce. 300 grams of steamed brown basmati rice. So that's a microwave one, that's already done. Two 150 gram British rump steaks. 20 grams of hoisin sauce. 15 ml of Chinese rice wine. Two and a half grams of crepe black pepper but you can also see I am adding garlic over there it's all personal taste that I like to add um, and I've also got some enoki mushrooms that needed using up so yeah I cooked those as well So I decided to add in some garlic here while the steaks are cooking. To me, steak's quite bland. It does need a little bit of help. It's not something that I enjoy eating personally, to be perfectly honest. I get these for Steve more than anything. I've got to say, for someone like me who doesn't like steak particularly, the steaks that I've had from Gusto, I have really, really enjoyed. Because I haven't got to over chew them, they're so soft. So here's the pak choy that I'm putting in. Use a non good non-stick pan for this. I've put a bit more oil in, as you can see. And I'm gonna put in my enoki mushrooms as well. I have cut the uh, other half of that root off the, these. So I'm just tearing them into chunks. I'm just going to add in a little bit of water to help them cook and then pop that lid on. So now I'm going to season these with a bit of salt. Pepper's gone in. I didn't add too much pepper because the steak's got pepper in. <laughs> On, whatever. Do 
don't take much actually for these little enoki mushrooms to cook down. Not very easy to get hold of, to be perfectly honest. Let's order them from an Asian gro green grocers. See that they actually don't take a lot of cooking. The leafy end there of the pak choy is cooked, the root end is not. You don't want the root end soft, you want a bit of crunch on it. For me personally, anyway. So I've took the pak choy out and I'm going to put the steaks back in. Chinese rice wine, there's 15 mils of it going in. I do use a lot of that. This is hoisin sauce, 20 grams. And tamari, gluten free soy sauce, 15 mils. So I'm just going to coat the, the steaks in this sauce. Use the steaks to actually mix it around. <laughs> I've just added a little bit of water. It says to add a spoonful of water. That was my spoon. <laughs> At this point, I'm trying to say pots. So now, you'll see at the end, these steaks, you would think, have to be in the pan that they'd be overcooked, but they wasn't. I'm putting them back in because I want them to absorb some of that flavour that's on the bottom of that pan. You can see I did end up cooking that pak choy look at the bottom. You can see at the bottom of them on there until they've got some colour. I'm just wanting them to pick up some of that flavour from the sauce. I've already got my brown rice cooking in the microwave. <laughs> and there was plenty here for two people. You would think maybe not with one pouch of rice, but there was. Now, if I'm saying that, then there must have been. <laughs> Locally known as the dustbin. You see now, look, they're coated in them juices. What usually is quite a bland vegetable. It was not when it had that sauce on it.
There's Enoki mushrooms. show you these are not overcooked you might think they are judging by the amount of time they're spent in that pan but they're most definitely not this one was mine the other one was thicker so I knew that one that one was going to be really mooing <laughs> see by how soft that is that is definitely not overcooked yep this was more mooing more steve style and no it's definitely not mine all those juices coming out of it there look easy very quick 10 minute meal and you don't have to buy a gigantic piece of beef so that one was better <laughs> the meat was cooked a bit more so yeah that was sticky black pepper steak with pak choy a nice easy gusto meal for you <coughs> excuse my voice so yeah, that's it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will speak to you down in the comment section, guys. Bye.